What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to play a Match of Judgment and Draft a Deck. So, let's hop in here. Um, looks pretty good. I see a Kinfolk Brave and a Kinfolk Veteran. That's nice. This sword doesn't have too much. There's a Solsi here, which is also really good, but there's... Solsi and a Meyer Shambler. Um, but there's not much other decay. Uh, I definitely think I have to take this Kinfolk Brave to say Kinfolk Vet down here. Marksman is good, Crown Strength is good, but Kinfolk Good is really good. So, and so is Brave. So we'll take the Brave, and we see a Boom Reaver. And so, probably the best card in this row, unless we see like a Scavenger Construct to pair with the Animavore. Um, I will take the Copper Automaton here. I, I like Copper Automatons. They're hard to deal with in Judgment if you just place it down. Um, not not great here. I'm probably just best card there as like a focus. Definitely can't vote better in here. We'll hope we can get more growth. Uh, I'll take the Boom Reaver here. Maybe we're in energy. I don't know. There is an Oculus Cannon here. I like Oculus Cannon. So let's take the Boom Reaver. And now, let's go for focus I guess because I think Festering Freak is a pretty bad creature and yeah I'll take the focus I like the focus um ooh we got some good energy here so I think we are in energy the most even though we got those two great growth scrolls off the bat we haven't really gotten anything else Miss Corona's bad Caller's Bane is actually pretty good Vigor Extraction good ramp in judgment ramp is always good in judgment but Oculus Cannon I think is pretty good, so I'm gonna take the Oculus Cannon. And now here we do get some growth. Maybe we're gonna be in growth and energy. I don't know. Uh, Eternal Statue or Electrify, I think. Beetle Stone. I mean, we'd have to rely on getting other Beetle Stones as much as as much as I want to pull off Beetle Stone. It's not gonna be worth the take. Electrify. We don't have many structures yet. Eternal Statue. Uh, I'm gonna take the Eternal Statue, it's just Electrify probably won't do anything. Uh, Echo it's on here, okay, so I think we're gonna wanna take definitely one of these two, the Reaver or the Giant. Giant, you need more energy, Reaver just a good guy, I think I wanna take the Reaver. That could just come down and be a force. The Giant, like, you need enough energy to do it, you can't use Wild, actually, I think you can use Wild to pump it, but I think the Reaver's gonna be better. So I'll take the Ironclad Reaver. And now here, this I like the Ragged Wolf here, don't I? Electrify. I think I'll take the Brother of the Wolf, Akamaton, Ragged Wolf. Let's see. And here we get more growth. That's pretty good. And not much here, because we're not really in Decay. But we'll see. All right, we don't have much here to go with our energy. So far, we have five growth scrolls and five energy scrolls, and one order scroll, and then a big focus. Uh, so here, I think I want to take the Kinfolk Ranger. I think it's, it's for two drop, three health, and two countdown. I think it's just maybe a little better than the Outcast Rebel. Maybe it's not. This is three countdown, four attack. This is two countdown, two attack. In terms of damage per countdown, this is better. Like... Four to three, and this is two to two, so it's like. But this might be able to get an attack off before dying, so I, I think yeah, I'll take the Kinfolk Ranger. Witch Doctor. Do I? I guess I'll have to take the Curse Monger here, and maybe if I see a lot of decay, I could start going for the Witch Doctor and try to build something about that. I don't know. We're kind of all over the place here. I don't love it, but. This is what the draft's been giving us. But we do see a Tussar and Ash run here, so that goes with the stuff. And Corrode is also nice. It could get some pretty funny wins. Now, I'll take the... I don't know. Scavenger Construct. Royal Spearman Tethered Recruit. We're really like... At least this draft's throwing us like every faction. I think... Energy and growth were still the most in. I don't think I would want to take any risks by trying to make like a Witch Doctor Decay deck work. But then again, if I get one Witch Doctor out, I can just like put 
humans from other factions around it. But then I do love my corrode. <laughs> you know, risk worth reward, I think I should take the witch doctor. That can mean much more in a gender match than a corrode. If I get a witch doctor out surrounded by humans, like, that's amazing. And there's tribesmen here. So I think that was a nice play. Uh, I'll take the dust runner. Um, here, the tethered recruit or the royal spearman. I don't have order much yet. I'll take the tethered recruit. We do have a animivore here. There's also ways to choose between a bog hound. I'll take the Illumina Tribesman because it's a human. Here, I don't know. We have a tethered recruit. We can start going to some order creatures. An order has humans. Like, Duco Super in front of Witch Doctor would be really good. Uh, but I do have a scavenger construct. And we don't, we're not really in order yet, so. Yeah, but then there's Blessing Haste. I'll take the Duco Spearman. I like that. Damn curse. Oh, and bombard and scout auto. Wow, that's a tough choice. Gravehawk, maybe. No, I'll take blessing of haste. There was a horn of ages before. I think I could have pulled off like horn of ages puppet soldier. Um, pretty bad here. I'll just take the moment keys. Now a damn curse. I think I'll have to take. Oh, it was a blooming seeker here. I think I'll have to take the damn curse because even though I have bombard, they even works for the witch doctor. It's like damn curse. Remo removal and judgment is really important because a lot of things are going to be like enchanted and stuff. So I'll take the Diamond Curse. There's Wetland Ranger here. I'm not really sure what faction we're in. We're I think we're going to be Decay and and either Energy or Growth. Looks like it's pretty close between Energy and Growth. Yeah, they both have six scrolls, five creatures, and I think Energy has more humans right now, like that I drafted here. I will take the Animovore. Definitely the Oblivion Seeker here. The Wetland Ranger wins it here because it's human over the Vetter. Uh, ragged Wolves. Three Ragged Wolves. I think that's three. That would be really nice. Oh, and oh, Dark Strike. That might be the tipping point to make us go with the energy. Because Dark Strike. Yeah, okay, I'm taking the Cockroach and the Dark Strike, because if you just get a Dark Strike, that's going to help so much. And I get a Baleful Witch, if I can get, like, a Bloodline Saint, that'd be amazing. And I my Rod Eater. I think, yeah, very good decision. I was taking the Witch Doctor over the Corrode. Um, hmm. We're not really in order at all, even though we got a Tethered Recruit. We have a Focus and a Blessing of Haste. Yeah, sure. But I think we're definitely going to be more in Growth or Energy. So I'll take the Uneasy Alliance. Here I'll take the Baleful Witch, definitely the Rot Eater here, another Tribesman, that's good. What if I get another Witch Doctor, that would be awesome. Uh, Bountiful Times, I want Bunnies or Everbonds, some decent kind of removal. Here it's a tough choice, we got th three good scrolls here that we would consider, Life Sealer, Berserker, and Oblivion Seeker. But we're definitely in Decay, so we'll definitely take the Life Sealer or the Oblivion Seeker. I already have an Oblivion Seeker. This year, Oblivion Seeker is awesome in card draw, but, um, what it being, why not? Uh, ooh, it's a good stuff down here. But Life Stealer, in Judgment, I think, is going to be better. Because, in Judgment, I think it's more about having nice big creatures than, like, having a card advantage. So, yeah, I'll take the Life Stealer. Do we smear on a Wetland Ranger? Yeah, I'm not really in order, so I'll take the Wetland Ranger. Or the Arhart's Disciple. Yeah, I'll take the Arhart's Disciple. I'd rather stay on, stay on color. Um, even the oh, Watcher's good, but there's not, like, it's not like we're going to find Necro in there's a Pest Assimilator here. Uh, Automata Forge. We'll just take the Decay. We'll take that on our Hunter. Um, we don't have, like, a oh, week. We'll take the Pest here. Pest. I'm sorry to call you a Pest. She's a Mystic. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tenderies can help us out because there's a lot of structure decks. So I think I want to take that. Even though Scatter Gunner is a human, we do have a lot of creatures. Yeah, 17 decay creatures. I'm going to hold off on that human and I'm going to take the Incendiaries and maybe we'll be able to fit it in. Stormrunner is awesome, but Pest Assimilator is great. 
Um, I'll go for the Wetland Ranger here. The Rot Eater, another Life Stealer is cool. Um, so I'm going a little bit faster now. Hmm. Nimivore, or there's another Damage Curse here. I like that. <laughs> there's another Beal Stone. I think. I don't really know. What are we more in? We've 10 energy. And I think we want more spells on creatures. So I think the, the energy is like. I don't know. I think energy has lower drops so far for us. A frost scale. Let's go for the. I'm probably gonna get the charge coil down here, so I'll go for the charge coil. And then I'll take the damning curse, and then there's a oblivion seeker. That's nice. And that's our deck. So let's see what we can do. What? How many cards? We have 22. All right, so we're definitely not going with order. Let's see. What do we want to put in for decay? I'm gonna hold off and put in the scavenger hunter animal board because it's not like we have a necro again. So I'm gonna hold off on that. We definitely want both of these guys. I'm not sure about the tether recruit just yet. Heart disciple. I want baleful witch probably. But we'll see. But if I'm gonna put Baleful Witch, may as well put Tether Group because those are like kinda like Or I could do Baleful Witch with Malevolent Gaze. That could be like a like a damage curse kinda. Definitely curse monger, definitely both damage curses. Okay, pretty good. All this around a witch doctor. I really like this. So how many curses is that? Thirteen already. Here, let's put in the Baleful Witch and the uh you know what, actually, I think we might be able to, um, go with the order. But we haven't, no, we're not going to have enough scrolls. Let's see. If we put all this in. Oh, no, we only have three order, I was going to say. Never mind. Let's take that out. What well, we're not sure we want. All right, I like these guys. Those are the, maybe not the Tepid Recruit or the Baffle Witch, but these so far are the definites besides those. And now, energy has more stuff, lower cost. It has two one-drops. Actually, order. Oh, we only had one ragged wolf. For some reason, I felt like we had like three ragged wolves. I don't know what I'm talking about. Actually, it looks like it looks like uh, growth definitely has more humans that I drafted because there's gonna be the brave, the ranger, and the brother of the wolf, and the wetland rangers, and maybe the veteran. Energy has ramp and card draw, but ramp for energy. And a little bit of removal. I kind of like that. Incendiaries, Oculus Cannon. And the Dark Strike. I think that Dark Strike is different. I'm going to go with energy, I think. Because it still has humans. Um, I want to take the Incendiaries, the Reaver, the Dark Strike. The clock library, the cannon, both charge coils, the boom reaver. Oh no, wait. Alright, we're gonna. We'll add like a little bit of. Alright, do we wanna take the Echomaton? I mean, if, me. I don't know. We're gonna need the Echomaton because to get. If, we're gonna need at least two energy and two wild to play it. And we only have one thing that costs more than that, and that's the reaver. So let's see if there's anything in decay that we wanna have over it. We have 29 cards right now. Is there anything that would benefit with that with an uneasy alliance? If you if you just have one uneasy alliance in the deck, it's just a champion ring. I don't have any relentless here or piercing, but it could still be good if like maybe the hunter's languid or something. I think I want the malevolent gaze with that bevel witch. That'd be cool. Scavenge crunch or animal or why not? I think I'm gonna put it at that, and I'll take out the echomaton. And I kind of want everything else actually, so I think I'll take out the malevolent gaze. So this will be the deck. Now I kind of wish I drafted that bomb. Wait, what was it? It was a choice between bombard and uh, I don't remember. I remember I had a choice of bombard in this deck, and that'd be awesome. But I'm not sure what the other card I got. But if that would be more important, maybe it was a damage curse. I don't know. Because uh, they do have a lot of. Brain creatures on the decay side and the energy side. Why can't I spell? Um, yeah, I have Pest, Seeker, Witch Doctor, Curse Monger, and then a bunch of stuff on energy like Dust Runner, Boom Reaver, so on and stuff too, I think. Okay, so now for the video's sake, let's try to find a match really fast. Please find a match. And we found a match. So let's join this. 
took quite a while, so I'll be cutting that out. <sighs> Alright, come on, please find. Come on. Don't. Come on. Join the match. Yes. Oh, hi, the Ninja Wizard. Face him quite frequently in ranked and stuff. Good luck to him, and pretty good starting hand. We can go scavenge contract, and then Elmire tries to install sack the Oculus Cannon. I won't use the mulligan. Sometimes I question putting scavenger construct in the middle there. It kind of blocks things. Especially when you're on a deck that uses Necrogen. Okay, he gets a turn one Myra Shambler. We don't have much to deal with it in this deck. We didn't draw that much removal. We're going to want to get high in Decay, though. Because I just want to get that Witch Doctor out, and I don't think we're going to be able to be stopped unless he has like a plethora of damning curses. At least this thing doesn't die to the Myra Shambler. See if we can get like a animal on that. Senderies. Nah, we'll just sack for resources so we can play the curse monger next turn. No point in sacking for scrolls and like trying to stop like another um Trison. So let's see if uh he's able to get the three attack on this Trison. If he's able to work around the um the extra move it does when it moves. Alright. Monstrosity. And he gets the hit we get the fifty percent chance to go our way so we don't take damage. And hmm. we have two damage curse in the deck, so I'm actually gonna sack the damage curse. With taxing now, damage curse, I mean playing it multiple times isn't that great. So I'm gonna sack that and it's a tough choice, pest similar or curse monger, they're both so nice. I think in like normal ranked play, curse monger is probably a little better, because pest similar is kinda easy to play around. But here, I don't know. I'm still gonna take the curse monger though. Yeah, I'll move down so I can Hopefully, be able to kill somebody next turn. Pest Summon is good when it's like growth and it's like a full board of like stuff. But against K, I think the Curse Monger is still reign supreme. Okay, let's see. Moving up, so I should be able to take down this uh, Meyer Shamily this coming turn. Not too bad. Blessing of Haste. Okay, interesting. It's kind of, that's a little, a little annoying, oh well. Now, I am going to... Hmm. So we know he has that. I'm going to play, I'm going to sacrifice a pistol winner. As good as it is, I want to get this life stealer out. I think that's going to survive. Even if that Myra Jamble hits it, we'll have two, we'll have two health. And hopefully he doesn't have any like a soul suit or something that would be that would be terrible and then maybe he'll be able to keep healing well actually i put him in the front there he might die <laughs> that, that may have been a mistake putting him in the front there and not just like letting my scavenger construct go yeah Ooh, my curse that's kind of annoying but he moves down so now i'm not gonna die like right away Alright, we're really good. We top deck that, and we didn't top deck a witch doctor. That that would suck. Because, okay, we could play two things this turn. Um, I'm not gonna move down because I don't want to move down. Like, let's just think. What's the point of us cursing this? We don't have brain license in this deck. I don't think we have. Yeah, we don't have Meyer curse. Oh, we bailful witch. Hey, yeah, we can kill it this turn. <laughs> what am I saying? That's fun. Let's move down so maybe I can kill you. Ha ha. And let's just get a bunch of like humans dispersed around the field so when we do get a witch doctor out, we can have fun. Ha. Everybody always thinks a baleful witch when you use the bloodline taint, but it works with curse monger's curse. Let's see if he's a human. Let's see if he has anything to protect this. If he does, fine. I'll just kill that instead. Fester and freak. Oh, it's coming down. I'll get poisoned. Oh well. I'm still going to kill it. Um, because I'm gonna keep healing. I'll. What do I play in front? I think I'm. This is going to get to five health, but be poisoned. So yeah, I want to put you behind. I want you to survive this. I'm gonna move you there. This is really annoying. <laughs> kind of wish I hadn't played it. Like I said, putting that in the middle can screw you over. 
Yeah, so I didn't want to have him in front because then if he's attacked, he dies in two turns before getting an attack off. Alright, hopefully you attack this thing. Get the one-third chance. Probably. Or maybe he's going to get change the chances by putting creatures around this. We'll see. So definitely have a distinct board advantage. It's looking good. Curse Presence. I forgot what that does. I assume that guy is cursed now. And yes, we get the one-third chance to destroy it to attack that. Ooh. Now they're cursed. But what is Curse Presence doing again? I forgot. Enchant opposing opponent unit. When unit takes damage, it just took damage from poison. Okay. Other opponent units on the row get cursed too. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so now you have cursed too, and you have cursed too. That could be pretty important. What if, like, he has, like, a. A, um. What's it called? A. Like, a. Belfle Witch. Okay, so now, um, I'll take the poison damage from this thing. Okay, I'd rather just get this thing out of the way. Um, I'll start, I'll start doing some idle damage. And. At least you don't have curse too. And you're the one, you're the thing that was um. You are the thing. That was poisoned. Uh, I was considering putting the Blooming Seeker next to the Scavenger Hunter because I kind of wanted to die because I want four cards so I can get into energy. But we ain't may not even need to go into energy this match. I will admit we've had a pretty good draw this game. I've had a steady flow of creatures. Okay. Wait, does every turn? Does it like... Oh, you get cursed too again every turn? Oh, crap. I should have moved you. Actually, it would have been impossible to, uh... To not let any of them get cursed for. Wow. Okay, so you're dead if you take any damage, basically. So it's kind of annoying. Let's see. Let's go ahead. My board's getting a little full here. I could like sacrifice these guys next to this and put a rod eater next to it so he gets like a huge buff. You know, I'll let them get another attack off. And then maybe I'll do it. Um, so I'll just keep this guy next to that. Because I don't want to put it next to the curse monger. <sighs> that R heart. Um doesn't worry me too much. Pillar of disease. Now I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Wow, that's a lot of curse on him. Maybe I go into energy now. Though it's not like we want to play it. Like, we don't want to fill up our board more. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to destroy this, even if I curse it and then attack it with this. It would not work. You know what? I'm going to sacrifice some creatures. I kind of want to wait until I get the Witch Doctor, though. Nah, I'm going to sacrifice some creatures. I want a bigger Rot Eater here. And I'm not going to go for energy yet. Blooming Seeker's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to go like this. So now I'll have a 5-5 five, five Rot Eater. I'll make that trade. I'll let you destroy this construct if you want. And do I curse anything yeah sure I'll curse you and I'll move I don't you know what I'll have to give myself a I'll give this oblivion seeker extra curse I was gonna say I have to um no you're not poisoned anymore all right it's fine all right you're not poisoned anymore yeah okay I'll have fun with letting the oblivion seeker take poison damage okay So he has about the same amount of resources as a little bit more cards, barely though, but we have massive board state. So I think we got this game. We'll see how we can win it pretty quickly though, because this construct is kind of in the way. Ooh. Yeah, like a oh, Horn of Ages. Very nice. Very nice play. And I top deck the Witch Doctor, but that's kind of like because I because he destroyed my oblivion seeker 
so that's nice. Now I guess I'll sacrifice the charge coil to play the witch doctor. Because since all since these guys are gonna die, at least I'll get two less from it. So I'll definitely play the witch doctor this turn. Uh yeah. So I guess I'll put them kinda a little farther back. I'll get those two husks. And do I destroy this while I can or do I do idle damage? I'll destroy it. Or no, I can't move anybody because I have Horn of Ages. Whoops. Well, not a big deal. Okay, at least I get two husks. You're gonna take some poison damage, but hopefully that's okay. So that was a nice play by him. I gotta watch out for that. He is Horn of Ages Puppet Soldier. Oh, I could have had that this game. Oh, but now this this thing has eight health now. I, if I had a tick bomb, I'd probably use it on that. Um, let's see. If I can get like a an animivore on that, then that'd be kind of good because then at least when my things are dying for the mire curse, I'd be drawing cards. Uh, we're gonna stay mono here. I don't see the reason not to stay mono. We could damage or something, but I think that's kind of worth it. Not not worth it. We can. Ooh, animivore. Let's play the animal war. You know what? Let's lure him into uh, maybe destroying that construct. I think we'll still win the game if he doesn't destroy that construct. But we're kind of reserved to the sides of the board with that construct right smack in the middle. Okay. Uh, so interesting. We uh, it looks like we're not gonna play this match with much energy, even though this deck has a lot of it. I think it only has like I think it has like twelve energy scrolls or something like that. Infectious blight. That sucks. Oh well. Horn of Ages. Does he have another? No, he doesn't have enough resources to do something else. Okay, fine. I'm coming. Kind of, I'm not sure if I would have moved anyways. I'd rather I like taking out those two idols. Not a huge deal. Incendiaries. That's actually pretty good to take this out. I'll suck the boom reaver for decay. These oblivion seekers are allowing me to do this like sacking for decay. Uh, I'll put the pest simulator. I'll put you here. Oh, whoops. No, I, was, I meant to do pests and then rotted here. Whatever. Oh, well. Okay, two idols down. So now our malevolent gaze dominion activates, so that means we're going to be able to do that with a baleful witch. Get another nice baleful witch kill, but... We have to win. We don't, too, we don't have any little darklings. Oh, no. You're going to die. It sucks. Okay, how are we going to break through the idol? I guess we have to use our rod eater to break through, but... His deck, his deck just recycled, so he's going to have a chance at Puppet Soldier, Corn of Ages. So, that's the removal we have to be scared of. Hmm. This match just got a little bit closer. Brain Lice. And a Horn of Ages. Okay. I wonder how many Horn of Ages he has. Uh, maybe we go for energy. We do have a lot of... Yeah, let's start going for a little bit of energy. Mm, actually, I don't know. Let's put... Let's not go for energy. Yeah, let's sack for cards. I want to get that Witch Doctor back. Let's put a Roger here. And a pest here. Okay. Really? To win this game, even though we don't have any low darklings, we have this R Hearts Disciple, and that means 
we just have to get like three attacks on this row that is uh oh wait that's uh, annoying curse presence is not that bad okay let's see can I win next turn if he doesn't protect if he doesn't move his curse on her back oh no wait is he gonna curse that but is it gonna die no it's not gonna die do I win oh no I don't win because if I damn and curse that yeah, if I damage curse, like, this thing would die. So, that kind of sucks. You have cursed two. You have cursed two. But you have infectious blight. You're gonna, all these things are going to die. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we got to go for some energy now. Maybe. Eh. Yeah, I'll check for cards. I guess we have to uh, just break this. I mean, he's going to die anyways from the brain lice. So, maybe we'll just kill that. If it was high enough for the dark strike, that would be good. Now, let's see. Let's go with the... Oblivion Seeker. Let's just go with the Oblivion Seeker. Right there. And hopefully he doesn't have another Horn of Ages. I think I think he might though. I think he has multiple Horn of Ages. <sighs> As it stands right now. Okay. Never mind. There was actually no chance of me winning that turn. Okay, uh. Oh no, now you have more curse. I keep forgetting about that. How do I do this? Wait a minute. Did I put Uneasy Alliance in this deck? I don't even know. I don't think I've seen it yet. If I had Uneasy Alliance, I could just win with putting it on this. I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's start going for energy. I mean, what else are we doing, right? And I will sacrifice the... Clock Library. I'll do damage there because the R Hearts Disciple might be good. You know what? Let's just go here and just destroy stuff. I don't care. My stuff is going to, like, explode. We're going to do this. And then I'll go with a... Dust Runner. And a... Life Stealer. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, wait. Yeah, alright. So we're going to lose some stuff to that poison, but we're going to draw more cards. So... This thing's gonna die, so that means next deck recycle. I mean, maybe our best bet is to try to hide this in the back and try to get two hits uh, on creatures here to deal damage to that idol. You know, that's what our heart disciple does. Hmm. I can for wild next turn. Wait, I have, a, I have a question. If, if like, let's say I had potion, uh, not potion, um, blessing of haste or, or uh, focus in this deck, would I be able to play it with one wild resource without having order? Because I would have gotten, let's say, I got one wild, but then my, um, my what's it called, died. My, uh, my tethered recruit died, then I would have one order. I mean, never mind. It doesn't, the tethered recruit doesn't have to die. Yeah, it does. Alright, I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm saying. Um, we've got a lot of stuff here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> I'll sack for wilds, I guess. 
and I do want more creatures on the board, I will... Charge Coil is pretty good, so is Copper. I'll sacrifice the Charge Coil, though. For a while. And I will play the... Uh, you're gonna die with... <laughs> Why, you've cursed six. Let's go ahead and... You've cursed two. I don't mind moving in, though. Because we are going to try to like win this this coming turn i'll try let's go with the hunter the curse monger and the copper auto right here okay we certainly have a lot of damage coming in for him and we have a damning curse but our damning curse would kill some of our own things like our the damn curse would kill our copper auto. I, maybe I did not put those things in the best places. Let's see. Moving down. Is he gonna like give the game here? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Well, pff. that's kind of annoying. Wait a minute. GG. I think. Yeah, because... Uh, now Puppet Soldier does not trigger on, um... On, like, direct damage. It only triggers on combat damage. So Incendiary should break that. Without dying, yeah. So, GG. Nice. Yeah, Puppet Soldier is not that good anymore. All right, there's win number one of five. Like you guys, uh, if you've been following me for a while, I um, only I only draft the deck and play the first match on video. So thank you all for watching. So far, so good in this uh, every video day thing. I'm I stockpiled them up because for, for the days I go away, I have videos to uh, dish out. So I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, and keep on playing scrolls. So I will see you all next time.